Yeah. Hey, I'm coming to San Antonio, man. Will you, will you give me five minutes? And this is before anybody knew who I was, right? No books, no, no kind of right. notoriety. So they're like, no, no, don't come by. But see, that was interest. To me, I that's, think that's the wolf of Wall Street. No, no, I'm not interested. Not interested. So is, not interested to you is interest. Yeah, this is Jordan Belfort. Well, it is. It says not interested. Not is a, a, an adjective to describe. is a, a, an adjective to describe interest okay right so it's a level of interest so if someone says they're not i interested, have on then a scale from zero to ten what interest level do you have none that is a level right okay and then one two three four five you with me a few minutes ago he didn't know he he didn't know he had no interest at least i'm on you see what i'm saying you get it well, i wouldn't no. do that i i disagree with that but what i'm not saying that not, okay. reasonable minds could differ I hey i'm so I want you guys to keep in mind that this guy is a multimillionaire. Okay. Net worth $600 million. <clears throat> His firm manages $4 billion. Okay. So don't ever let anybody tell you that you're stupid and you can't make it. Like, you can find a way to get ahead. What he's trying to say is he's trying to say that people that don't like him are still on the spectrum of liking him which is better than people that don't know about him. That's what he's trying to say. Oh. But because he doesn't he doesn't use the words in the right way, it just comes out as being stupid. There's an actual video of him training his employees on how to talk and scam customers. It's insane. Look for it. Oh, that's for Oh, oh it's this guy. Call. I've Let seen this. Right. Can you on a timer, son? Yeah. Who's your team 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 uh, Todd. Todd. Yep. Oh. Okay, well, what about this then? So, hey, I got just I got disconnected. I was trying to get hold of the business. We give you a 30 day out. If we can't okay, pick you up 15% of uh, your business, you contract. I've seen this. We'll cancel the terms. Where's your script? Give us 30 days. This guy held it together so well, honestly. Dude, I don't need, 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 I don't need you remembering it. I would have pieced the fuck out. Okay. I need you reading the script the way I want it done. Okay, make the calls. Yep. You're my best guy, right? Yeah. What? God, bro. Ugh. God damn. Ugh. That's rough. Yeah, this is why guys got into Fight Club. That's why yeah. the movie was so popular. Yeah, pretty much. Does that mean, yeah. Hi, is this Bill? Okay. Because my boss makes me want to become a fucking terrorist. That's why I hate my job and I hate my life so much that I'm going to become a terrorist. That's the premise. That's it. That's it. And every guy loved it. Every guy loved that movie. <laughs> They're like, yeah, there's a part of me that relates to that. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Okay, good. So I'll reach back out with you. And oh, Bill Jr., hey, it's uh, Mike Bonnet from Grant Cardone's offices. Then, we spoke know, the just, other day. We'll do that. We, if we can train your guys. Up, I'm doing we'll very them, well. Hey, listen, I just wanted to see if we can uh, catch up and uh, get five minutes of your time you know, to show you Grant's program. You know, we'll cancel the contract. But when should I circle back with you? I wanted to. I wanted to okay, you so, to personally call. Okay, me. sounds great, John. That's All right, what we'll talk to you. Well, I pers uh, Grant personally wanted me to call you. Today. Look, a big part of being a salesman is looking approachable and likable. You, bro, like, what are you? What the fuck, man? Ooh. What are you do? What is this like? And I'm like, my hair is fucking Ooh. stupid too. But like, this is crazy. Like, what the? This guy's got a cactus on his head. What's going so Dude, he looked like he got shocked by lightning. He just got fucking zapped by a lightning bolt. Fucking porcupine. What is this? What's going on? It's like, bro, it's like this guy's about to do like a, a metal music video in the year 1999. Looks like he should have a chain wallet. Holy shit. Five minutes of your time to, to show you the program. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Well. <laughs> When's a better time to call you back? I saw that you were looking for some information regarding Cardone University and wanted to see what type of details I could pass your way. Yeah, that's fine. Two, two o'clock or three o'clock? Make it 3 p.m.? Sure, no problem. All right, perfect. Are you actually going to give me a real 10 minutes to show this to you at 3 p.m.? God, this must suck. This must uh, fucking suck. Holy yeah. shit, this must suck. Oh my god. Yeah. Or do you have a no, actually, you you're right. That, that, at, I apologize for that. All I need is Jesus. five minutes to show it to you. Okay, perfect. At 3 no p.m. 
So, okay, um, look, what it is is look the forward to seeing you, you then. Go to get access to All right, bye bye. 24 hours okay. a day, seven look, days a week to be your This is the deal, dude. Yep. Okay. Yep. You bounce it. Coach. I'm bouncing. Now we got to get you good. You okay. You want to get good? I want to get awesome. I want to be a mess. Oh, God, bro. This is just, oh, my fucking God. It's about to get real bad. Jesus, this is so bad. Oh my God. The sales person. Okay, I need you Jesus. to follow the script. I need you to stay in the chair. Okay. I need you running down the hall. All right. Running all over the place. That has no value. All right. Okay. Don't I get up. I think it does something to you and makes you better. It does. You need to just. Right here, dude. Okay. <laughs> you, pound, you pound frequency. You right. got to be frequent before you're going to be great. All right. You're never going to be great on a handful of phone calls. Okay. Right? So when people say it's not a numbers game, it's bullshit. Okay. It is numbers because just, it starts breaking your. You need numbers to get great. Okay. okay. And so people, you uh, need to get. This. And the worst part about it is with every clown like this, there are shreds of truth in what they say, because he's completely right about that. He's totally fucking right about that one it that that one little fucking tiny thing. It's actually good advice. Yes. You know what? He manages 4 billion dollars and he's 600 million dollars net worth. He's pro he's honestly he might be a dickhead. He might be a retarded dickhead, but he's probably right about a lot of things. The call. Hey, I'm calling because Mr. Cardone wants me to give you something. Okay. Okay. Yep. What, what's he want? What's he want to give me? He wants to give you a pro. He he's created a sales tool that can increase sales 15 to 40 percent yep. within the first 30 days. Okay. It's not a bit. I'm telling you, it's not an over exaggeration. Okay. But before I do that, I need to know a few things, sir, to be sure this can help you. Okay. I'm going to give you the script. It's right here. All you got to do is read off this. You don't need to write it again. Oh, okay. what are you taking notes? I'm going to do it right now. Right, I'm going to my fusion room. shop and I'm just going to just hammer. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to hammer good, everybody. Good. What are the two things like that your sales team it. could benefit from? What are the two problems? What's that one magical problem? What's that? 100% correct on a sales technique? It's not. See, the big problem, and this is like a huge issue that people that are bad at sales. This is how you do it. Hey there, is this Mr. Jeff Apolloni? Yeah, listen, I got to tell you something. Listen, before you hang up on me, I need you to know <clears throat> I'm selling window sealer, window sealer for your car. Things are real bad for me. My wife is going to take all the, all the money. She's divorcing me. She's been cheating on me. She's going to take my kids. She's going to take the house. I'm feeling real bad. I'm going to do something real terrible unless we make this sale right now. Please, I need you. If you don't buy this, something real bad is going to happen. Not to you, to me. Something To me, something real bad is going to happen. And I need you to buy the window sealant. Otherwise, it's going to be very... And it's going to be messy. It's going to be messy, and someone's going to have to clean it up. You don't want someone to have to clean it up, do you? You don't. The janitor is going to walk in, and he's going to have to... It's not going to be good. You should buy the window sealant. Buy into deal is they Soul. see somebody Art like this deal. dude or like jordan belfort Art who i deal. think also gives a lot of very good advice about selling but at the same time you have to remember it is a lot easier to sell things when you're allowed to lie so whenever True. you have somebody who's like like him that's like how i how i tell you guys if you twitch prime or you sub then maybe we'll, we will have good content today and then people sob and they think, oh, wow, maybe I'm going to sob and there will be good content on the Stay Safe stream. And there's never, never is there, never has there ever been. So, of course, never. people were taking his sales pitch because he was telling something that was really good. It's like if you told somebody, oh, well, if you do this, you know, I I'll sell you a car for a hundred dollars. And then they go and steal a car and then they give you the car for a hundred dollars. They don't get to go out on a fucking thing talking about how great they are as a salesman. Because, yes, of course you're a great salesman. You're selling $100 stolen cars. Of course people want to buy this. They don't know what's going on. Oh. So that's the issue. You you misrepresent what you're selling. That you, At that oh. point, it's like you're, it's like you're aimbotting. Ooh. Really? Like, it's like you're, you're aimbotting, and then they're giving lectures about how to increase your accuracy. That's why I say it's too good to be true. What's this? <sighs> that one thing that so sits in you your ass. Like that bothers a great you salesman sells bad products? No, they don't. No, <clears throat> they don't. Because a great salesman leaves the place that's making him sell a bad product, and he goes somewhere where he can sell a good product. 
That's not true. But what if the bad product is a way higher profit margin, right? I don't know if I don't know if that's always true. What if you make way more money selling the bad product? And so the only people that get stuck selling bad products mm. are people that are bad salesmen. That's it. Mm. Yeah. What you pisses got, you off? And, and, then, and then it's going to be good. Okay. Okay. When, get, when can I show you this? Okay. Okay. Yep. I'm hammering. Okay. You got, you got a timer? Does he have a timer? Everybody in here needs timers, Tom. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. With the cook timers, it's 15 minutes. How many fucking phone calls? God, he's, he's gonna put him on a clock one of those you know like those little white things where you you turn it and it goes yeah bing you know it does like that bro this guy is going to fucking oh my god he's gonna break i wonder where he is now an egg timer yeah they don't even know what time it is everybody needs to um hold up hold up do what do I need to kick this guy? Uh, trans, what's his name? Uh, there you go. Okay, we good. Uh, 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 there we go. Get everybody a quick time. Oh my God. Here we go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. Make calls. Dude. You got to get the egg timer, bro. He don't have the timer. Let's go. He's not gonna work. Oh my god. He's going in. <laughs> Bring it on, man! Come on, tornado! How to handle cold calls. Dude, this guy is like part of a cult. This is like a fucking cult, man. This is so weird to watch. Before the freaking electricity goes down. Let's go. <laughs> we got tornadoes and we're still making calls. Oh my God. Oh man. Jesus. Did he up he uploaded this one himself? That's what's so crazy about this is like the lack of self-awareness. It's like he's putting this shit out on his own. I actually, you guys, I don't know if I ever told this story. Uh, I, I interviewed to work at AT&T, and this was like a, at like a call center, like not work as a technician or like a, uh -huh. a, a fucking engineer, <clears throat> but I was just going to work at a, a local call center. And this was like back whenever I, like, I was like 20, 21 years old, something like that. So this is way, way, way long ago. And I had to fill out a questionnaire, and they actually made me, like, I, I, I basically... I failed the questionnaire because I didn't try to upsell the customer at every single multiple choice option for like what decision block are you going to go with if the yeah, customer says this. they do that. They fucking do that. Same. Yeah, because I'm like, and, and I would say one of them because it's like, yes, yes. You Can I tell you like a, like a weird uh, fetish I have? Maybe you, may, not a fetish. It's not sexual. You guys can relate to this maybe. It's like shutting down very aggressive, pushy salesmen. Shutting down an aggressive, pushy salesman is actually so satisfying. You just fucking, nope, no thanks, not interested, I don't want it, nah, nah, I don't. Dude, oh man, that's awesome. That, yeah, dude, it feels good, it feels good, man. You, you, you try no, to upsell them no, once, and it's no like, thanks. they don't like that? No. Okay, well then let's go ahead and no. move on. Yep, I immediately, I remember I was the first person to finish it. And they told me I failed right there. I said, all right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to play World of Warcraft all day again. Come on up here. Ah, jeez, dude. Oh, man. That's too... Oh. Oh, do we have a happy dog? Is that a happy dog? Is that a happy dog? Uh-huh. That's a happy dog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh, that's a good dog. Yep. Okay, big kiss. All right. Okay. You get out of here. There she goes. Bad. That's a good dog. And that was it. You only tried to help the customer and not shove shit down their throat? I did. These dumb douchebags do nothing but bother you, and it works. Peer pressure. I know it works. And this is the problem. Is like guys like this, what they do 
is they are so aggressive that they intimidate people into making a sale. I used to do sales in WoW all the time. <laughs> and we made so many fucking sales. It was insane. It was crazy. And I, I would work well. with this guy. And I would do it with him. And he would be the worst salesman I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, amazing. All right, let's go.